right guys welcome back to another TMD video review of the Hobby Japan magazine December edition 2019 and this is actually take two as I had some really bad audio on the last um, review of this so let's not waste any more time guys welcome back so I've been um, out of the loop for quite a while um, but uh, anyway this is a really good review um, this magazine this edition is really kick ass so I'll be Japan magazine if you guys don't know what this is it's a monthly edition magazine full of toys model kits um, and all kinds of other stuff so let me just dive into it here guys um, inside the first page you'll get loads of um, Kubrick toys um, a big fan of Kubricks and they have some really cool new ones coming out especially the Royal Selengor which I really like up here it's the Arab Arab Skeek classic and they've even got like this internal one uh, my first bear brick jester version it's like a little uh, gumball machine it's rather sick and they've even got these cat ones now which um, are pretty funky as well can you see down here um so um as you can see there's a lot of content in this magazine they've even got some uh dungrams in here this uh, by max factory now uh inside this first page is um some stuff let me just adjust this light a little bit we've got a white spot there but um airfix Oddly enough, in Japan, a lot of Japanese people like Airfix kits. I think this is a new kit by Airfix called the Blackburn Buccaneer. Um, and yes, they do sell them in Japan, guys. Um, anyway, this edition of this magazine has gone fully out on Gundams. As you know, the WBC uh, competition was on Sunday. And I believe China won. Um, going into this uh, first section, we've got the um, Alice. All of these kits are kind of like upgraded mods and stuff. Um, but this is the uh, EXS Gundam, which I was actually very tempted in buying the other day. Um, and I think I might even uh, purchase one. <laughs> but. Um, this goes into like some of uh, the ergonomics, the kit itself, how things move. It's got a really good um, internal base to this. And I do really like this kit actually um, for a Gundam. And uh, it's got really nice uh, posability and stuff like that on here. So it's rather nice. Going into the SD stuff, you have the, what is it called, Legend BB Night Gundam conversion. Again, these, oh, they've got, oh, the Faz is there. Oh, yes, isn't that kit coming out? Yeah, next year in February, I am definitely going to be buying this. This kit is kick ass. It's an MG Vercar of the Faz. I have the original version. The only reason why I'm a bit put off is because that kit actually um, comes with dry decals, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't like applying them on kits. This is the Penelope Gundam. How badass does this look, man? Lots of custom work done on here. It's, uh, it's a new kit that's kind of just come out in Japan. And it's a 144 scale high grade but it is uh rather beautiful if you uh and uh, this guy's done some beautiful work on here um so there's lots of pictures in this magazine uh of the kit this is the gustav carl casaria I love the feet on this kit, it's super cool. I love the legs on that. I'm really big into these chunky legs and this build is 
it's amazing shows you some step by steps of the construction scratch built so I'm suffering from a little bit of a cold now now the crossbone Gundam X3 and you've got some of these other Gundams that are from video games and stuff I know some of you guys are not fully into Gundam but uh, I'm just showing you guys uh, what's in this magazine and how it covers quite a large range of stuff even gets into diorama building the custom LEDs Titanus test team advanced Zeta loads of uh, pictures and stuff for the Gundams I really like this one as well is it the Hayes with the very elongated legs I like the colour scheme as well I'm into those dark blue but this one is really nice I love the artwork sick man reminds me a little bit of uh, Elon Evangelio or five stars five star stories it's the Hayes 2 huge back section on there like I said guys I'm just going to flick through Jim Key the Jim Q as you can see this Gundam is heavily based on um, Gundams and stuff because it's obviously the most popular kind of genre out here this one is the uh, Astre Astre sorry red frame not Astre not some of you uh, flick your tobacco lash in but <laughs> I like the diorama of this actually it's like a samurai sword handle it's got those uh, custom arms and stuff it's pretty nice even going into molding and stuff I think he's made his own resin parts for it which is rather bloody good uh, moon Gundam the Vag Vaguil sorry if I pronounced it wrong guys uh, moving on there's so much good in them oh again this magazine's really cool because it has like um, stuff on um, how to do Gundams without airbrushing and stuff like that so you know little uh, tips and stuff like that they're using a Gundam marker to hide the uh, nub mark on there so it's very informative again it goes into the processes there Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, yeah I did mention this on my last video that um, like I said this video is a, it's the second time around I'm doing this um, review but uh, I really like this bike thing over here I think it looks kind of funky what do you guys think custom stuff in there more Gundam as you can see the market for this is huge Earth 3 Gundam just this night some custom mods and stuff oh this is the one that I'm, I'm really liking right now it's the Z, ZGMF 100A1 Gunner Zaku Warrior I'm running out of breath actually my friend Scott has actually just got this from uh, his sister for Christmas so a big shout going out to you Scott this is really cool. I just love that backpack, man. The um, side gun and stuff like that. Some custom mods, wiring. It's really done. It's executed very well. Very well. Again, this is not a kit you can just buy. It's a kit that's been modded. So, but I love it. <laughs> love that build. Second V. Not big into this stuff though. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, Salt Buster Gundam. Not bad. I like it. <coughs> a 
you're getting a big white spot there guys sorry i can't help it it's the lighting here. it's terrible but you get what um what's going on oh man this is some kick-ass shit the gundam heavy arms ew the orange and white version is pretty gnarly look at it it's a really nice kit actually these these gundams i built a, a smaller one uh, a few years ago and it's quite it's actually quite a difficult uh, paint job to do it's quite it's quite technical <coughs> especially those doing those um, panel lines man they're a bit of a pain to do <coughs> but it's a nice kit so i'll just flick through more gundam new one that's coming out i think Gunpla new item, yeah, that's coming out next year. Uh, Canon, I know you went one of those. Is that a PG kit? Yeah, PG kit, Strike Gundam. 20 is coming out in uh, February, 25,000 yen for that one. I know there was some uh, kind of whispers going on last this year, sorry, about the new PG kit. There's a lot of PG kits they need to make, seriously need to make, but as you know, guys who are into Gundam, there's a lot of fans wanting, I mean, a Kishatra or a Sazabi, man, fuck yeah. There seems to be some figure that's coming out in March next year. Gundam Guys Generation, it's the name of the series or company. Rather sexy. We've got some merchandise there as well. Uh, metal builds as well. If you're a collector of Gundams, I know people cry out for those things. We'll post to inside. <coughs> Every edition of this magazine has a, a poster of a Gundam. I was flicking through. Ah, okay, so. I know my friend Robert was interested in these. These are the Chibi Figure Series 1. And lo and behold, we've got the Games Workshop Ultramarine kit that is coming out in January through March of next year. I'm not sure what's going on with these kits. I've got a lot of people asking me to get them orders in, but I think that kit is on the P Bandai website. Which is really um, annoying. Now, this is something. That, this has got volume on. This is really cool. So recently, I've been getting in. I mean, I've always been into like fish tanks and stuff, but never really kept the fish tank and fish alive for no more than three, four years. Um, I'd wish I had the money to get like a huge fish tank and spend the time and you know look after fish properly and stuff like that um, but I don't I might get a new fish tank this next year maybe so this is very peculiar because um, I've never seen this kind of type of stuff um, in this magazine and it's about like um, kind of like doing real dioramas using actual real plants and stuff like aqua homes and stuff this is really actually uh really interesting and for some reason i'm not quite sure where this shop is if it's in Tokyo. it says it's in chiba no way it can't be in chiba i'll have to check it i know there is a shop like this in the tokyo sky tree um, it's like a little shopping mall that does some really, uh, it's got a really good uh, fish tank shop. <coughs> I'm not sure what this is, A4, I don't know if this is like, are these posters? I don't know, oh, this is I don't know. Maybe it's a review of like 2019, I don't know. This is called, I can't read the category. Code Geos or something, I don't know. These very strange looking robots. Now, this is something that's kind of caught my eye. 
Bandai Spirits Legend of Sunrise Mech. I'm really digging this kit. It's like a it's like a plane but a robot. I thought that was pretty funky. <coughs> Can you see? Pretty gnarly man. Close up shot there. Really, I might get one of these. Uh, Mazen, Mazen Kaiser Bandai have been releasing some of these kits Mazenga G All that good stuff Rizenza Now Oh my god I've had so much Like news about this And people wanting these kits Right I'm I'm not quite sure how I'm going to edit this, but I really wanted to put some. Uh, I might put it in the edit, like some photographs and stuff like that. Uh, this is an anime series that is on YouTube, and if you have YouTube Premium, I think this is an anime series which is on YouTube. They have the first episode on YouTube. You can uh, go on there. And if you type in obsolete, you can watch the first episode. And it's actually in, um, it's got English subtitles as well. If you go onto your options on YouTube. This is like the super coolest thing that I've like seen for a long, long while. Um, and uh, many of my friends have been watching the anime as well of this. And these kits are in 135th. And this particular one is called the United States Marine Corps Armored Reconnaissance Exo-Frame A-Rex-03 Toad. I'm not quite sure, like, what's going on. It looks like it's a transformer almost, like it's a lorry, a truck or something, because it's got wheels at the side. Um, this is the other one called the Exactor, if you can see that on camera very well. But man, these kits look amazing. And they're in 135th. So they're all like in the old military scale. And have massive potentials for doing amazing diorama work. Especially with like um, Tamiya military stuff and resin army guys and so forth. But uh, I've got a lot of people wanting to order these from me. So I'm going to have to contact my suppliers and find out what the hell's going on with this. Um... This is the first kit that will be out for release. Um, and I'm not sure how this actually works out because it seems that it's like an inner frame. I need to get my wife to translate all this Japanese called Modroid 135th, 12, 25, 1,200 yen. So the price... It's not expensive. That's the sprue. And I'm not quite sure if that is actually the finished item. I have a weird feeling that maybe you get the inner frame first and then you build on the outside of it. I think this kit is by Good Smile. So, I'm not sure if you can build other stuff on top of it. You have the one mainframe there, and you can choose any of those designs that fit on top of it externally. Um, if that is the case, that's a pretty cool fucking idea for a model kit line. I really like that. Um, you know. So I'll be putting some info probably in the video about that uh, later on. So this is the Dungrum stuff. Votoms. It's a bloody great build. It's that nice paintwork. Nice diorama. Diorama. It's pretty, uh, pretty badass, man. So I'll just flick through it, Arctic Front. There's some more Voton related stuff, that's pretty mad. You can see that. <coughs> so 
So lots of content in here. I really like this as well. I did mention this in the last take, but uh, it's called the Soltic H44S Mackerel, Mackerel Max Factory. And this is what I'm really excited about. This is a game by Max Factory, 172 scale combat armors, Max Iron, Iron Foot F4X Hasty. And this, I think, if I can find the information, I don't know if this is a kit that's already out or is coming out. I don't know. It looks quite old, but I really like it. I really like that um, the aesthetics, the shaping and stuff. I really like the blockiness of all this kit. <coughs> can you see? It's a beautiful thing, man. I'm into that retro look. Uh, it's called Blizzard Gunner. Soltech Bigfoot. All the bottom stuff there, guys. Pretty gnarly, man. Showing you how they did the uh, diorama, all the effects and stuff. So this magazine, it's it's almost like a book, but it's a magazine. You've got some old retro Japanese stuff there. Border Break. So they, I'm not sure what's going on with this. I know it's like a, I saw like a different design on the front cover, but this is actually out. And I really dig these border break kits, man. It's pretty sick. Yeah. It's called the uh, KSA Type 2. It's got like LEDs in there as well. You can see that. I'm going to have to adjust the light settings on iMovie when I've finished all this. But it's called the Regulus. And their spirits. It's kind of weird how they've set all this out. It seems to be an event. What's this going in here? Volks. <coughs> this is called the Brunhild or something. It's non. Oh, it's not an actual model kit. Wars. Lots of stuff on Star Wars in this magazine. Hasbro review in there, uh, Takura Tommy, and then you've got like Bandai. Thanks guys for the guys that have been ordering off me. So we've got the new Falcon, Kylo Ren, you've got the uh, Stormtrooper. These two Starfighters are coming out <clears throat> in December sometime, very soon probably. Uh, Wargreen, Wargreyman, I don't know what that is, must be some Japanese thing. Ultraman, Kamen Rider, if you don't know what Kamen Rider is, it's just like famous like action character in Japan, um, very popular with young kids. Now... This is something that um, I'm really excited about, the MSG and Megami device goals by Kurt Bakia. Um, they've got this new kit that's going to be coming out next year. Uh, it's priced at 7600 coming out in March. It's really cool, apart from uh, lovely looking boobies. Um, yes, uh, I will be uh, buying one of those. I've got most of these, to be honest. And that is also a new kit coming out at the same time. Kobakia are really pushing these things out like you wouldn't believe. It's it's rather insane. They've even got these um, Chobits as well with the frame arms. That's pretty gnarly, dude. Pretty gnarly, dude. So, some more stuff here on the uh, MSG line, which uh, MSG is like the custom stuff for Kobakia. Um, character and new kit review, Bandai Spirits, you've got some uh, new stuff coming out, you've got some wave stuff there, loads of stuff, just a quick uh, review and stuff, oh what's that, same as EX17, shit man, 
so um, there is a book series called No More Kin. This is Act 17. Um, it's about it's just click tutorials for um, doing scratch stuff. And uh, you can actually buy a book by that person or that line, and it, it's really good. There's one book that just has loads of books on. It's a book on tools. It's pretty insane. Like going into the machine in Krieger stuff. We've got some custom builds here. Very, very cool. The uh, 145th series SG Intruder. Got like this space capsule. This is a new 172 scale <clears throat> Mac stuff by Kaido. And uh, I'll be doing a review in, of this course kit in literally about 10 50 minutes. Um, as I said, I lost all my footage from my last review. Um, news is that they've got the uh, the new Gladiator uh, machining Krieger kit, which is coming out in January, and that is rather exciting. It goes under G1, G2, G3. That is because there are different variant options for that. And there is some other stuff coming out as well by wave. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. PKA. It's pretty gnarly, man. And I've also got some, uh, well, it's already passed now, but they had some two machining Krieger events going on. I think one was in Fukuoka. I forgot where the Tamagawa, I think it is, the other one. You got some girls and panzer, is that? Yeah. Diorama build, tank build. Warhammer. Big um, section they get in here. Uh, maybe some new of these figures. Blood of Phoenix. I'm totally out of the loop with this stuff, so you guys probably know more than me. Um, but yeah, they've got some... Uh, that's pretty cool, man. That what's that guy? Tor Garadon. It's a nice little figure. And also, you've got like these plague champion marines, death guards. Pretty dope. I need to be uh, getting a box of those. Put an order in. I know some people are. Asking me to get him stuff. This is rather weird. By a company called KH Hyphen Company. Looks like Ultraman. Very odd. Okay, so for you guys that are into your military, it has loads of sections of military um, kits in here. The Elephant. This is the MK15 Mod 31C. I'm closing weapon system. It's fairly it's modern thing, photo etch. Pretty gnarly. Got a zero fighter. You can buy fine molds. Japanese fighter plane. It's even got some really nice reference in here, actually. Very nice reference. And the Lockheed P-38 Lightning by Tamiya. I think that's already come out. The 148 Ride the Lightning. I think that's the same one, isn't it? Oh, no, it might be different. I think this is from Red Bull, right? Yeah, Red Bull. Planes. This is an interesting one by Hasegawa, the Yanmar Combine. Really like this. Something different. I like the little diorama of the rice being cut up as well. It's pretty, pretty cool. I dig it. I dig it. A 112 GX6R750. It's got some spec on there of the kit. Looks like it's a kit that's already come out. The back of here. I think they've got some pictures from the hobby show. This is like new kits that are coming out uh, for the future. Tank, military, automobile, all kinds of stuff, man. Even tooling as well. Decals, etching, just 
packed full of information. <laughs> yeah, God hands. <clears throat> you know. Um, how to look after God hands. Uh, the reason why I think they've made this is because maybe like a lot of people have been snapping their um, God hand cutters because they've been using them incorrectly. Tells you how to cut and stuff, how to use them properly. This is what I'm interested in, this cutter. It's got like a double blade system on it. It's got a double scriber as well. You can do lots of cool stuff with that. Pretty gnarly, man. Square Enix. Okay, the toys, guys. This might not interest you. It's called Franken Gun uh, Gorilla. Sorry, Frankenstein Gorilla. It's pretty uh, a nice, mean gorilla, like King Kong kind of thing. It's pretty gnarly. Uh, so for Medicom, Spider-Man, Marvel stuff, Saint, Sayer, loads of those things about, SIC, Hero Saga, oh, movie realisation, look, new uh, Plasma, Toy by Bandai Spirits, I know you guys who in Star Wars love those, <clears throat> Pretty sick, man. Pokemon. Let's flick through this. As I know that most of you guys won't be interested in this, but uh, for you guys that are, you know more than me. So I'm going to quick flip my cross. What's the new? Is that a new one? Yeah, coming out in March, this toy. The VF1. Jailwalk, Batroid, Fighter, Fireman. It's got loads of options and stuff. Pretty sick, man. If you're into that kind of thing. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is called. Uh, Diaclone World. I really like these things, man. I don't even know what they are, to be honest. First time I've seen it, but it's pretty cool. It's like Zoids almost. Uh, Dragon Express. Don't know what's all in Japanese. Stands. Magazine subscription. Paint. Anime related stuff. <laughs> For all you guys, otaku guys. <clears throat> Beast Wars <laughs> Desktop Army stuff Japanese figurines I know like you guys are kind of maybe a little bit freaked out or fascinated by these But uh, these are obviously very Japanese-y Very popular Very expensive <laughs> I don't know what series that's from, actually. Uh, but these things are well made. Oh, okay, here's the little bunny girls. Very hard for me, my big guys. Let me zoom up a little bit. Do -do -do -do. Oh, the weird stuff. I did show this on my uh, Facebook actually, people were freaked out by it, but binding. That is 26,000 yen for this figure. So 26,000 yen, 10,000 yen is 100 bucks, 200 bucks, just over $200 for that. Comes in different poses and stuff. Oh, this is real material as well, which is pretty weird. Um, Idol Master, Grand Fate Order, I think that one is. Ami Ami, some more figures, some Evangelion stuff there, that's pretty sick, pretty cool. <clears throat> 
I want to have a good read of this and I'm going to be writing some reviews actually they're pretty cool I'm going to be writing some reviews of some of this stuff in here taking pictures and putting them on my uh, Tokyo Model Detective page Frontline I don't know if this is again stuff that's coming out next year or stuff that's uh, happening Oh, there's a Paco event there. It's like news and stuff in there, news section. If you're not from uh, Japan, then I'll see what will concern you. Toys. Medicom stuff's quite big in here. Keychains, accept. Oh man, this is just mad, guys. It's just mad, all this stuff in here. Just. And at the back, they've got like all the information of the stuff featured, news, movies, even, something there. It's such a mad, mad magazine. Um, Toy King. This company are on, um, what is it? Uh, t -t -t -t. Yeah, Walks, I think. They're a huge company. This is all third party extra companies putting ads in this magazine. Pretty mad, man. It is pretty frigging mad. Out there, okay. How to build Gundam. Obviously, this company do magazines on how to build a lot of stuff. Gundams, tanks. There's an event there. It's already passed though. I think this magazine was covered over the the two months. So there you go guys that's the magazine if anybody is interested in getting this magazine just please send me an email um they are um bought to order kind of thing the shipping is not the best on these i've got to say because they're quite heavy um so but if you are interested let me know like i said this is an exclusive magazine to japan and for the money for reference, I think it's look look at the thickness of that man. It's worth the money, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like share button, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I've got maybe about four videos to make after this. So uh, take care, guys. Thank you for watching.